Hello everyone. Welcome to Linux Forensics here at Pentester Academy. I'm Dr. Phil Polstra and I will be your guide throughout this course. Now some of you might know me and if you don't just a little bit about me. Uh, you might know me because I'm a very frequent conference speaker I've done some repeat performances at DEF CON, Black Hat, GERCON, 44CON, B-Sides, Forensic Cure, and a few others. I'm also an author. I wrote a book called Hacking and Penetration Testing with Low Power Devices. It was published in September of 2014. And it's all about how you can make your own remote hacking drones, drop boxes, etc using the inexpensive yet powerful VeagleBone Black and how you can take a bunch of devices, put them together, possibly battery power them and hack people from a mile away. So that's what that book's all about. Also have a couple more books planned for 2015. And my day job, I'm a professor teaching digital forensics at Bloomsburg University of Pennsylvania. I've also been programming for a while. I started when I was eight, and when I was around 10, I learned assembly, and I've been hacking hardware since I was around 12. Also been known to fly, build airplanes, teach people how to fly, and things like that with my free time. So about this class, what's, what's coming up with this course? Well, we have a lot of exciting things coming up in this course. Now, this is not necessarily a comprehensive list, but just to give you an idea, we're going to start out with live response. So live response, you've walked into a situation where someone thought that you might have something going on that needs investigating. So the first thing we'll talk about is how do you interact with humans? You know, it might sound a little strange given that this is a technical course, but it's in your best interest to talk to the people involved first before you decide what to do. We'll talk about developing your own live response kit, how you can send your data across a network in order not to disturb the subject machine too much. We'll talk about collecting all that volatile data and figuring out is it worth it for me to do a dead analysis or not? You know, should I really take this machine offline? We'll show you how to dump RAM for later analysis. We will talk about acquiring file system images using standard tools such as DD and the enhanced version DCFLDD. We will also necessarily talk about write blocking and we will cover both software write blockers such as those that you could create with UDEV rules or if you use a forensic Linux distro. And we'll also talk about hardware write blockers. We will dig down into file systems and we will show you how you can mount them onto your Linux system, how you can find the strange, you know, things that are not just quite right that probably indicates somebody did something and tried to cover it up. We'll talk about different searching tools and looking at things such as authentication related files, how you can recover deleted files, and how you can find hidden information. We will also leverage open source tools such as the Sleuth Kit and Autopsy, and we'll show you how you can use these to investigate at the volume level, the file system level, and then drilling down a little bit how you can look at inodes, directory entries, etc. One of the things that we're going to spend a lot of time on is constructing timelines. How can you build a timeline of what happened when in order to figure out what occurred? So we will spend some time on time line analysis so you can look at things such as when was the system installed, upgraded, booted, etc. Did somebody 
reboot the system because they did something bad and they needed to install it. We will look at newly created files that could be malware, recently changed files that could be Trojaned, and files that are in the wrong place, such as files in the dev directory, for example, that might be used for some sort of exfiltration. We will dig even deeper into some of these Linux file systems. So we'll use a couple of editors to do this. We'll use the free ActiveAt disk editor. We'll also use the free and open source autopsy product. We will look at the ext family of file systems in detail. And we will also look at some of these emerging Linux file systems. We will show you how to search unallocated space that's not part of a file system as well. Then we're going to turn our focus to network forensics. We'll show you how you can use Snort on your packet captures in order to detect the strange. We'll show you how you can use tools like TCP stat. And we'll also show you how you can separate conversations. You can have this deluge of network packets going through the system and you can separate them out using TCP flow. We will also talk about looking at backdoors and detecting them. We're going to drill down into the file level and we'll talk about how you can figure out what's in a file. You know, things like file signatures, you know, how can you find files hidden in swap space? We'll look at web browsing reconstruction. Can you find somebody's cookies, search history, caches, etc.? We'll investigate unknown files. If you don't know what it is, you can do things like compare the hashes to known values. Perhaps it's malware that's known. We will talk about other things such as using the file and string commands, how you can look at the symbols inside of a file. We'll talk about reading ELF files and using tools such as objdump and in some cases GDB if it's an executable. We will spend some time on memory forensics. So we will look at things like building volatility profiles, retrieving process info, command line arguments, rebuilding someone's environment variables, listing open files, retrieving their bash history, getting all those network artifacts, kernel information, all that volatile file system information, and of course, detecting root kits of various types. As if that wasn't enough, there's more. We're also going to look at reversing Linux malware, digging deeper into that ELF format, looking at headers and sections, strings, symbol tables, program headers, program loading, dynamic linking, and looking at some more command line tools, such as strings, strays, ltrace, etc. And we'll also talk a little bit about carefully running malware and how you can do that. If you have something you're really having a hard time figuring it out, then we'll tell you how you can use virtualization and other things in order to look at that malware. We will also talk about everybody's least favorite part, writing reports. So we'll talk about a couple of tools out there that can ease that pain a little bit, such as Autopsy, Dratus, and even Open Office. So what can you do to lessen that pain? For all goals, Some for the overall course. goals, I want to leverage open source or at least free software to the maximum extent possible. In other words, I want you guys to go through this course and at the end of it, I want you to be able to go out and actually do stuff without dropping a ton of cash. So that is a huge goal for this class. 
As with every class here at Pentester Academy, this course will be very hands-on and it will involve a lot of practical exercises and demonstrations. Another big goal, we want to provide the most comprehensive Linux forensics course available. I think if you look at the contents for this course, you get an idea that this is a substantial course. And I'm really looking forward to delivering this course, and I hope that you will all enjoy going through this course together with me. I will see you soon in our first video.